so I'm riding and I bumped into this guy Steve and he rides with the same kit that I, I do. Hey. When did you start riding? About December last year. And how are you finding it? Enjoying your riding? Well, it's a necessity for me because otherwise I'm getting weaker. Winter is well and truly here. Uh, Mercury is at 7 degrees outside. It is cold. Even inside the house it is cold. And I'm not turning on the heater because it's just me. And it costs a lot, so... Whew. Just making myself a coffee and I'll be heading out to meet the boys at um, Collins Road. Not too far from here. The usual meeting place on Sunday. Uh, riding with T8 WCC Triple um, Eight Willerton Cycling Club. We're gonna go for a pretty nice and big ride. Um, it's almost like a figure of eight. I'll post the Strava, the Strava photo um, right here. Have a look. So um, these guys love their food. <laughs> And so I'm really hoping for a really good coffee later on. Although I'm already gonna have one right now. With so many new bikes coming out from China right now, um, you've got the Seika Exceed, for example, that so many people have been talking about. Would you ride a Chinese-built bike? Well, gone are the days where Chinese frames were associated with cheap, knockoff, really crappy. Well, knockoff still maybe. Lots of them are still coming out from China. But lots of real, original, nice, good-looking brands are actually coming out from there. So um, there's a guy, Joe, from China Cycling, um, and he's got a new website, pandapodium.cc. Go visit, I had a look, it's pretty good. Um, and uh, he's, he was out at the uh, Shanghai Bike Show recently, and there were many, many amazing-looking bikes. In fact, some of those bikes including one from this brand, Bros. Kind of interesting. I think my daughters were like, bro, <laughs> if they saw it. Um, it's trending right now, you know, like girls even call each other bro. So, Anyway, digress from that. There's so many beautiful bikes that I would ride. The question is, would you ride a Chinese-built bike? I'm going to ask the guys today on the ride, what do you think of Chinese-built bikes and if they would ride one? So... Here we go. It is a frigid morning. Cold. Um, a quick shout out to QX. <laughs> You'll be coming in July. Damn, it's gonna be cold, man. It's not even winter yet and it is freezing. So, uh, better get good winter gear. Um, something that is windproof and preferably waterproof as well because it might be raining in July. Well, I'll see you when I see you, mate. <laughs> this is the end of side one of this record. Please now, turn it over for the second side. This is the second side. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. Yeah. Sorry, man. Morning. Can't think. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Would you ride a Chinese carbon frame, like a branded one, not, not those knockoffs? Yeah, as long as uh, I'm happy with the review. Got the same question for you, man. Um, sure. Would you ride a Chinese carbon frame? price is right if the price is good. right and it's good so what kind of price are you looking at I, I have no idea I mean comparable to a perhaps a other carbon frame like your BMC perhaps yes <laughs> okay cool cool <laughs> it is dark so no one can see you but hey happy Mother's Day ladies Thank you. all right have a great ride yeah, see you all yeah, thank you so, much. so Arif would you ride a Chinese carbon frame? I'm not do, talking do, about the knockoffs. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Why? Because uh, the carbon manufacturing is, is all about, you know, he knows it. 
it's all about quality control and small batch, right? If you, generally speaking, if you buy a main, you know, one of the main brands, yeah. they produce in mass. And if you're unlucky, sometimes you, you get a, you know, bad frame, seriously. Yep. And uh, there's another YouTube channel that I can recommend, I can okay. forward it to you, yep. have a look. He reviews the Chinese frames, like wind speed. They do fantastic, you know. Which frames. channel is it? China Cycling or is no. it uh, Chris Han Velo? Hanbini. Ah, Han oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, Hanbini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love. Yeah, Hanbini yeah, yeah, seen my bit, channel. You know, <laughs> dirty, a bit dirty, you know, dirty talking, but uh, he's great. He's an aerodynamic engineer, right? Yes. And um, he does very good reviews, and he's honest. He's, you know, uh, he's not getting paid by other, you know, brands. It's nothing marketing. So he reviews, and it's fair. If there's something wrong, is. He says it, yeah. He says it, and uh, I, I agree with it because uh, carbon frame is, uh, you know, a lot of manual handling there, a lot of you know laboring. You know, it's not really automated. That's true. And, uh, that's why sometimes it's good to buy from a small producer. And, um, and not only the frame, it's also the wheels, Chinese mm. wheels. They, they do very well. So you, know. you would ride a Chinese oh, frame? Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. I mean, have, 90% of the frames, maybe. I'm going to try that. No, Taiwan, <laughs> Taiwan or, yeah. or mainland China. How about that? True, true. So, Good man. I would, definitely. And for... You know, uh, Hanbini is the man, just follow him. So and if, also if, if, you just, if you just follow, if you just follow Hanbini, do you agree about when he says... And don't forget, keep banging your head, just <laughs> 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 I, I, I cannot comment on that, but you know, he's a funny guy. I like him. And, okay. Um, are you still recording? Yeah. If Hamid is listening, I really like him to review my bike. I review and, um, your bike. Actually, I'm thinking about it. If I ever get to Europe, I will send yeah. my bike to him. Oh, uh, so which one? Milinski? Yeah, Milinski ah. and my uh, wheel. Hambini, if you're watching, please. Arif wants to send his bike. This one over here. Milinski is the R300 for review. Yeah, Tell and, him. and also maybe a bottom bracket. Uh, he, he, I get one of his bottom brackets, you know. All right, and uh, Peace, Hambini, bro. continue banging your head, <laughs> <laughs> Uh Good morning, and I got Shane right here. And the same question, you know, Shane, would you ride a Chinese carbon frame? Now, I'm not talking about knockoffs. I'm talking about those new proper brands like Windspace, uh, Bros. Um, yeah, so a, a proper Chinese frame. Uh, well, that's a really good question. Um, I look. I'm gonna be blunt and straightforward. Probably not right now, but maybe in the future I could see potential. That's pretty much it. Cool, cool. Um, now, so why is that so? Is it uh, worry about the quality or workmanship? I, I think um, there is a lot of proven technology that has to be done first. Um, I think give it a few years, and I think it will be right up there. That's all I can pretty much really say. Cool. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. So Anna is the uh, mom of the whole group. <laughs> she puts us all in line and uh, wishing her a very happy Mother's Day Thank today. You. And continue to keep us in line, eh? Keep us safe! <laughs> uh, Nick, I got a question for you. Uh -huh. Would you write a Chinese carbon frame? Would you buy a Chinese carbon frame and write it? I think I have. <laughs> very cool. All right. <laughs> well, meet this man. Uh, he's from Singapore. He just flew in, and uh, yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> it's a frigid morning. And what's it like compared to Singapore weather? Uh, I, I don't know yet, but uh, <laughs> all I know is that it's very, very cold. <laughs> it is cold. It is cold. I woke up this morning at seven degrees. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. It's seven. So um, well. Welcome back to Perth and uh, enjoy today's ride. Hopefully it warms up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, Anna's telling me that guys are bigger worse than women. <laughs> it is! Oh my god, it's ridiculous! Stop uh, complaining, just do some work. Okay, off we go. This is Danny, we call him the president. Remember him? Yeah. Danny, would you ride a Chinese cabin bike? Oh no, let's go, rolling! Yeah, this is what I call good draft. Good draft, not so good draft. I'm gonna follow good draft. This is the end of side one of this record. Please now turn it over for the second side. This is the second side.
Matt Goose is a crew champion. What size wheels are you riding, man? 35. 35 mil and keeping up. In fact, he was pulling the whole peloton. Good stuff, man. It's actually a gravel bike, right? No, no. This is no, road. road bike with gravel wheels. Sick. We're on the way to get coffee. And uh, so far, most people say that they would ride a Chinese built carbon frame. One or two don't really trust it yet, but on the whole, so far, we'll see what happens at coffee. I'm gonna ask a few more people. Cherry yeah. grapes. I believe we're somewhere in Subiaco, or is it West Perth? What West suburb Perth. is this? West Perth. West Perth, and uh, we're at this cafe called uh, Cherry Grapes. We're gonna see if they do a good coffee. If they go do a good coffee, you guys should come. Leo, what did you order? Uh -huh. Soy latte. Soy latte, nice. It's uh, Mother's Day today, so I'm not sure if they've got heaps of food or not, but I'm gonna place my order. Very nice decor in this place. Um, yeah, all we've got to uh, do is now just taste the coffee and see if it's good. Hey. Hello, hello. Victor, uncannily, let's get in the sun. He looks like my uncle. <laughs> oh yeah, strange, but uh, I got a question for you today, Victor. Um, would you ride, or would you buy a new Chinese carbon train like Seika, Windspace? Windspace. Windspace, yeah? yeah? You'd buy it now. Why would you, so like Chinese frames have this, uh, people think that it's lousy, they break. What do you think? Not all of them. Not all of them. Not so a trusted brand will be good? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So another thumbs up to Chinese carbon frames. Thank you. Chris, so you look like his grandfather. So this guy's Chris. He doesn't look like my uncle. He looks nothing like my grandfather too. <laughs> now Chris, would you ride or would you buy a Chinese carbon frame? Like a branded one, Seika, Exceed or the uh, Windspace or something like that. Yeah, I would. You would? Yeah. So you trust Chinese carbon? You yeah. think they've come a long way? Yeah. I actually had one of the first um, version, if you like. Oh, which one? Back in uh, uh, 2010. What model was that? Uh, it was a uh, China Rello. A oh, China Rello. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, China Rello Chokma. Chokma. Yeah. Do, do you know that online you got there's a, there's this guy who has a China Rello Katma. No. Yeah, you should you should check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description below. But thank you. So another thumbs up for Chinese carbon frames. Oh, China's taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, check check. Let's, let's put some makeup on. Makeup on. Check your hair. Check your hair, bro. Check your hair. Okay, this is Agus. Hey. And uh, Agus was riding the Giant Defy with uh, 35 mil gravel tires. Crazy, bro. We're doing like 40 40 plus just now in Canning Canning Highway. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question for you today, would you buy or would you write a Chinese carbon frame? I have no idea about that one because I don't have the Chinese carbon at the moment. Yeah, but so if you don't you don't have but yeah, why, why not? Will you consider? Why not? Yeah, why not? No, a lot of people diss off uh, Chinese carbon frame saying oh uh, Chinese carbon frames might break and stuff like what do you think? I think it's like Chinese carbon frames is uh, like getting better now, I believe. Most of people are using like Han. Is Han is the Chinese carbon frame, right? Oh, I'm not sure. I got to I got to check it out. <laughs> yeah, but I know some, I know I know the Han beer. <laughs> <laughs> but some people say it's like yeah, it's like getting better now. Okay, so yeah. is it a thumbs up for Chinese carbon yeah. frame? All right. Another thumbs up. Cool. Thanks, man. No worries. Okay, my review of the coffee from uh, cherry and grape. I got an old flat white. It's not too bad actually. Temperature is all right. Taste is good. Just a little bit expensive. I wouldn't pay six forty for a uh, coffee. Oh, thank you. Nice coffee. 
a little bit expensive, but if you're in the area, it's worth for coffee. It's not bad. It's time for the uh, photo. And uh, Anna, sorry, you can't take the photo today. It's Mother's Day, you gotta be inside. Hey, no, 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 I never go inside with the boys group one. Never. I'm one oh. of the ones, so I never go into the photo. Come on, where's everybody? The only flower, huh? and you're not in there. Yeah. <laughs> Would you actually in the future consider a Chinese carbon frame? Yes, maybe. Maybe, okay, so Chinese Only wind space. <laughs> Only wind space. Okay, so that's and a you, thumbs UIC up. And UIC and Grand Fondo approved. UCR. UCR, UIC. <laughs> UIC. UIC. UIC is approved. that, that brand in Singapore, right? No, no. The UIC. United <laughs> Ballot, United, what up? Then in what color? But yes, maybe. <laughs> So another thumbs up for Chinese Cab and well, with reservations of course. I think that was one of the longest coffee breaks we've had. Um, but yeah, been asking around about Chinese carbon frames and people seem to be giving the thumbs up. So maybe things are starting to turn around, maybe the big name brands are starting to feel some competition from the uh, east. Let's see. I'm riding and I bumped into this guy Steve and he rides with the same kit that I, I do. Steve say hi! How are you doing guys? So Steve, hi. when did you start riding? About December last year. And how are you finding it? Enjoying your riding? Well, it's a necessity for me because otherwise I'm getting weaker. Ah, wait, how old are you? I'm 56. 56 and going strong. Ah. That's good. It's really super nice to see guys out on the road. Uh, just for fitness, you know? Steve, yes. I've got a question for you today. I've been asking this question to all the riders today. Will you buy, in the future, a Chinese carbon frame? Well, it's like, good value. I don't know about the quality wise. Like uh, Seiko, Windspace, Dove Brands. Yeah, well. I uh, would, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a friend. Uh, That's cool. So it's a thumbs up for you? Yeah. If it comes out to me, yeah. Uh, and, and the report was good, yeah, I would. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. Thank you. There you go. Another thumbs up for Chinese carbon. So, there's the verdict on carbon frames from China. Now, would you buy a Chinese carbon frame? If so, why? Price point, design, trust in Chinese carbon? What are your reasons? Comment below. I would love to know. Once again, if you like what you're watching, if you love the content, please give me a thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm and gets my channel more views. And if you really want to support me, subscribing, and pressing that notifications bell would be so awesome. Take care now, ride safe. Ciao for now, till the next video. Bye.